Welcome to the convenience store by Chilia's by Chilla's Art. I keep thinking it's Chilia's for some reason. Uh, but yes, it's uh, the convenience store. One of their newest games. The same people who, of course, who made Akamanto and... Wait, what was that previous one? Mm. It's one I didn't even finish getting all endings, which sort of bugs me. Oh, Yuki Ona, that's right. Of course, of course. I, I still need to get the last ending in that game. I haven't uninstalled it yet. But yes, is there next game? Let me see the game store page. I'll, I'll at least read a little bit of the description. The Convenience Store. It's a J-horror game about a college girl on a night shift. The game looks very interestingly surreal in comparison to the other games, which looked more like a Papa Combo-esque PlayStation 1 visual. Uh, immersive experience, VHS film aesthetics, gameplay is primarily walking simulator with puzzle solving. It is a short game, 40 minutes long, two endings, good and bad. 40 minutes long, though. Two endings in 40 minutes, that will be, I guess, possibly a two-part series and maybe a third for the last ending, if I have to repeat the game, who knows. But let's get into it. I also have to make sure I drink my coffee before it gets cold. It's time. Oh yeah. Need to get ready for work. I'll have to see if I can get rid of the VHS effect if it's too annoying. I know some people get a little bugged by it. As long as it's like the VHS doesn't... Uh, the effects, let's see. SSR. Camera effect. So removing this, if it removes too much of... Slept well. If it removes too much of the aesthetics, we'll see. Yeah. It's just blurry. Meh. Nah. F for flashlight, Q for drop, run, shadow quality disabled. Hard and soft. I'm sure most people prefer hard only. Oh, let's see, let's go. We'll do hard and hard and soft. Okay. Change clothes. Yes. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but we got to get ready for work, of course. I guess we're getting just out of bed. We're getting ready for our shift, and it's a night shift. Eat a snack. Hmm. Wait, is this... The difference of the bedroom warmth compared to out here, which is, like, cold-looking. There's a balcony. It's dark outside. That's all she wanted to say. Don't think there's anything else I need that's important. But, of course, I'll have to be brain-crafting with kitchen in a... S this is a kitchen? Is this how southern Japanese apartments look? Like, if you were to do the kitchen, it would be this claustrophobic, no window? And a sink-like bathroom? Sink? Gotta bring a flashlight. Yes. Why is this door so bloodied and evil-looking? Is this like all my ha this has to be all the apartment. But why is this one so bloodied and evil? Uh, I need to eat something, to... change and grab a flashlight. Oh, yeah, I didn't eat. Okay. And I clicked on the chips, but I wouldn't eat. It's just like a little No, not the chips. She wants to eat a little healthier. Wait, oh, there's Wait, there's a fridge here and a fridge in here. So is this someone else's? Because in this place, well, we don't have a kitchen, but... Is this a food to go? Microwave? Yes. Remember, you gotta stare at the food like it's the Attack on Titan waiting to eat. The little morsels.
Okay, maybe let's just wander. Eat bento, yes! Mmm. It's a good start. It's... Okay, now we can probably go. Oh. Oh. Why is the sun so bright? to wonder too if there's going to be something relating to the shrines like in previous games where the importance of wandering might be might be true. I'll look around, maybe skip ahead a little bit. It depends. I'm not sure how to get the good ending if it's not just everything that's in the store and all this area is just pointless sandbox. I don't know. Is in the what was it? In the um the haunted apartment room game that they made. There were shrines that were all around the place that you had to find in order to get the good ending. So I just want to make sure that doesn't exist in this one. Hmm, I think it's just all empty. Wait, what? Oh, broken down stairs. Okay. These stairs are broken? Find another way down, I guess. Oh, here we go. Mm, a little bit of missing texture there. Hey, it'll get patched up, I'm sure. You know, if I don't think I don't if I don't see anything, then I'll have to wonder that the bad and good ending are achieved by inside like being inside of the convenience store. But there's a chance that there's something you need to learn while here. Like something that you can discover. Just might be a replication of a Sort of small little town area. Who knows? Who the fuck is this weird bum? The fuck are you doing? Ah, just parking lot of stuff. Okay, what the fuck are you doing here? I know what really happened here. I was called to warn you all. By the name I cannot speak of, the day of judgment will come. Yeah. Okay. Way too much bath salts for that guy, or something. I don't know, man. Whose car is this, and why is it still on? Why does this exist? Hmm. Why is this here? I can't do anything with it unless it was E? Oh, I think it's a mouse click. It's not letting me. I am looking at it. Oh. You enter through the back. This reminds me of Puppet Combo's version really eerily. Oh, so bright. Rabbi Carrot Juice. I've been drinking only that recently. Highly recommended. Is that the developer's recommendations? Thank you for always keeping the toilet clean. Oddly convincing. 
Gotta have like the, of course, the, the panda smoking a cigar. Is that supposed to be a reference to B stars, maybe? Otherwise, it's just normal for pandas to be so smoking cigars. Hmm. Gotta have the, the anime stuff, of course. Where's the hentai section? I rarely buy magazines, but I do buy Austin Lee magazines. Thirteen bucks an hour night shift. This is the reason why I'm here. Hmm. Not ready to talk to you yet. So many flavors of chip. I don't know what flavors these are, but they're all the colors of the goddamn rainbow. Ooh, spaghetti. Let's see what, like, how the visuals would look with the camera effect. See, is that like I was saying about the surreal nature? Because it doesn't look PlayStation 1E graphics, or PSX-ish. But it's got the, it's like modern-ish, but clean. It's strange. It's also super bright. This shelf looks fine. Ugh. Mmm, snackables. Looks like some are expired. Yes. Yes. So. I think he's missing a nose. I won't, I guess I'll just do the garbage first, and I'm, I'm not even, I, like, I didn't even punch in my shift yet, and I'm already working because I'm a good employee. Ooh. Croissants. And... I'm not sure what these specifically are. Yes. I'm a good employee. Okay. Now that yellow thing is no longer there, we shall close up. Let me actually sign in before I start checking and throwing your stuff out. So what have you been up to? No talking? Let's punch in, I guess. I, that should be the first thing we do so we get all our money. So we're gonna punch in. Computer? No. Ah. Alright. I think some food are expired by the time you start your shift. Can you take them off the shelves for me, your manager? Of course. Hmm. Oh, looks like he's... Is that the dude that was working, or is that a thief? Is that a thief? Which one are you? Hmm. Okay, let's get behind the shelf. We gotta... We gotta do our job and, of course, make sure people don't steal. So how does this work? Not sure if all well, customers looking for stuff. I'll. I guess I can spy on them until they're ready. Wait, I didn't say to fucking stop. I want to see if they're stealing or not. This camera has very limited movement. And he 
he's mocking very slow. I think he's ready. Alright. Sup? Got all you needed? Um. Yes? I... I... I'm clicking everything, man. You're not talking. Did I talk to him behind the counter? Hello. What? What am I missing? I'm clicking everything. The shelf looks fine. The shelf looks fine. The shelf looks fine. Looks like some are expired. Yes. I guess I'm just ignoring the customer while I do this. Like, I don't know if like the game wants me to do this first and the customer just arrived too quickly. I don't know. But me clicking... Because the E is not the option. It's like left click to talk to people or left click for action, as you can see here. Interact with the left mouse button. And that's what I'm hitting. But... It's not letting me interact with the customer, so I'm going to presume there's a first come situation. He's still there. Oh, wait, I grabbed... Wait, what? What the fuck did I grab? What? A scanner? Is it just how Japanese things are? They put their card thing down and you just scan that barcode there and they taxes them everything what I'm so confused it seems I already did all that okay so apparently I have to click something that's like a gun here that I don't see and I've been clicking everywhere and only until then when I clicked on the right the right side it appeared not sure weird I don't think there's anything else for me to check I'll check the back though I don't know. We have to be wondering what we can do to uh, get the good ending while playing. Let's talk to the weirdo. Bring me food or you'll receive eternal punishment. I don't want to give him food, but I might as well try and see if that helps with the good ending. I'll have to see what I can give him if I can give him anything. It's broken! God damn it. <laughs> broken. Uh, let's we'll see if I can get the dude some food, though. Oh, stop being weird. Can I give him this juice? No. Anything in the back? Nothing that I can see. If it's none of these, which are like the sort of ready-to-eat looking stuff, then I don't think I can really give them anything. Oh, this shelf looks fine. Weird. Maybe it's this stuff I have to give them. Oh, delivery man. You walk so I'm gonna check the vent. Oh, or, or not. I can't feed him anything from here. If I find a coin, then I'll see if that works. You gonna put a thing down? Or am I just gonna grab this from you? It's kinda late for a delivery man at this time, huh? We've recently incorporated this system exclusively for convenience stores that are open late at night. Looks like this package directly shipped to the store. Oh, and the name matches your tag. I think this is for you. But it's not for the store, it's for me. Accepting it might be problematic. Ugh. Mm. No. I 
<laughs> it's a package that's for me, but he said it's for the store, but it's also got my name on it. So he technically should have delivered to the home address, because he's saying that the system is if it was delivered to the store. Actually, I guess just the address is for the stupid store, so someone exploited a business only delivery system for a get like a package that is specifically meant for the character and it's kind of weird to think about that I don't know maybe it's like the manager someone that has like uh, business access to the shipping services because otherwise it shouldn't be personal usage obviously because that's what they're implying fine take it home even that's probably evil shit about to happen Oh, it shifts over. Okay, what? Well. Oh, VHS tape. Maybe they don't. I don't remember starting a meal. Hang on. Watch closely. Not loosely, but closely. Someone behind the tape, behind the store, or... It didn't look like he was looking towards the store, or... From the store perspective. So why was that fucking microwave turned on? Did he just go to sleep? No. What game want me to do? You did I, did I come home and sleep? You. I'm confused. Do you like just skip work and just come home with it? I don't know. Okay. Well, let's go back to work, maybe? Maybe we. First night. Wait, what? <laughs> so. What? Did, did I finish my shift? I'm confused. I don't know if like, so they're saying the first shift is over, but it's still nighttime? Or I skipped work because I took the package home. And this is still broken. It's much, much darker out here. For whatever reason. But I know my way around. For whatever reason, it's just the the lamps aren't on. Like, maybe it's a bug? Because the lamps are sort of on, but sort of not. I have no idea. Mm, scrap that. Alright, well, I... Well, I somehow made a, my way back here, even though the town is completely pitch dark for whatever reason. Old man's no longer there. And... Just gonna assume... Hey, hey. So I heard you reported the doors would open on their own. Should we, um... We gotta gotta check the sensor, and it seems like the wirings were loose. Oh, you thought it was some sort of poltergeist? I see those on TV all the time, but they're all scripted. Ghosts aren't real, after all. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm gonna punch in. Then start by work, you know. I saw some rats behind the store yesterday. Someone must have left the garbage bin open. Hey, that was not me. The first person to see this note has to get rid of the rodents ASAP. Should have should have been this douchebag, because, you know, unless that was him writing it. I don't know if that's the manager or not, or if that's just the employee that is there before me. I have no idea. But uh, if he's not the manager, it's him and he's a slacker. If he is the manager, never mind. Well, okay. I'm not sure what the CR CCR TV TV CRTVs would be for if I can just watch people with my own eyes. Okay, so we gotta find rats. I'm guessing not here, but Die.
Die! Yeah, you die. You gotta do this before customers start arriving. You die. These don't even move, they accept their fate. They're like, oh shit, it's the big Sergal Overlord. Time to give up on life, I guess. The last rat has to be in. That shit. Customer. Uh, where would the last one be? Ah, you sneaky bastard. I did it. Oh, hi, all goes I'm ass. Well, she'll be taking her time. Let's make sure the expiry dates are all good. Make sure that grandma doesn't fucking swipe all the magazines under her goddamn shirt. Are you just coming here just for the bathroom? Is that it? And then you're just gonna shit all over the place and make it, like, really, really smell? I hope not. We just spy on grandma through the through the cameras. Because we already did our daily task of the day. Yep, there goes grandma. In she goes. There we go. Alright, so grandma's secure. I'll just watch the camera and... Ugh, because I've done my task. If anything, oh, I'd argue you should do the task before you clock in, unless you have no choice. <laughs> so far, it's a slow-paced beginning, but I'm sure shit will get real soon enough. <laughs> Here's the first car. I'll just pretend I'm not here. Oh, he, he's just instantly going to the counter. We want to smoke, buddy. Want smokes? What's up? Hey, I'm in a hurry. Now, could you please fetch me five cans of beer and a pack of cigar? Hurry up. Five packs. Why is it beer? Is it behind the counter? I don't know if the... Hey, is it our job to do that here? Would it... You said five packs of cigars? Was it five packs of cigars? That'd be behind the counter, at least. Or is it five cans of beer and one cigar? I'm watching you. Like, I'm in a hurry. I could do it. I could do it myself, but I'm gonna wait for you to slowly go back and forth. With one can of beer at a time. What a douche. Like, seriously, who who just be like, I'm in a hurry. I'm not gonna get it myself. Now I know what it feels like. The patriarchy. This is the face of patriarchy. Kind of just like, I'm just gonna be like in the... Um... Oh, now you show me where to click. Thank you, now get the fuck out. I wonder if grandma's okay, we gotta check on her. Just be nice. Also, he's a douche because of how he parked. Look at how he parked and took up like three spaces. He deserves to have the worst happen to him. Oh, you are okay. I was gonna check up on you. You better not have stunk it up, right? Uh, huh? Where's Ken Kun? You know where Ken Kun is? I thought I heard his voice. This was my daughter's house. What did you do? How dare you? At least she's moving a little faster. As demented as she is. You didn't fuck the bathroom up, did you? Okay, it looks pretty clean. 
Man, I guess I'll close the door. Just gotta be proper. Get out of here, Grandma. Hmm. So what are these little morsels? I had the flashlight on the entire time. Oof. I wonder if people complain and be like, Nico, turn off the fucking flashlight! Hmm. Meat bun? I don't know what those are. Like, they're not sushi. Are they cheeses? Maybe. But yeah, that whole scannable gun thing, when on the first day, it didn't even show the whole yellow thing to, to show you, hey, you can click this. And uh, it really should have been shown, so you know, like, hey, click this to scan that. Instead, I was just like, what am I fucking doing? Like, do I talk to the person? Usually you'd think you'd talk to the person, but instead you grab the gun that was on the right side, but it had no yellow tag to show you, hey, you touch this. It did on the second night, though, which is weird. So the homeless dude is no longer there. I mean, I would have tried to feed him just in hopes it would give me a good ending, but... I wonder if I can fix it. That's the intercom. The doors aren't really connected to an engine of any sort that's above it. So I'll just have to leave it being weird. Maybe if I check the cameras, it'll show someone walking or standing there. It's maybe what the game wants me to do. It's just a theory I came up with. A game theory! Oh, My game theory was accurate. Little child! Was that Ken Kun? I guess I'll follow the kid. This this doesn't lead to the back though. Okay, well, Jesus, it almost run me over. Jesus Christ, man. Be kind of awkward, you're just sort of standing in front of the dude, like just backing up as they slowly move forward. No package. Good to see you again. Oh, you know the unstoppable trend on ordering everything online. Anyway, there seems to be a package that needs to be picked up here. Huh? Package to be picked up. Oh. No. Huh. And if, like, as soon as the night's over, I gotta stop recording. It's 35 minutes long. Ugh. Whose vehicle is this? Wait, what? Oh, it won't let me leave the place. I was about to say there's an invisible wall here now. Hmm. Hmm, the camera refuses to go up and down now. Well, this goes side to side, at least. Very barely. Wait. Is that a person behind the tape? Is that what they wanted me to see? A yellow-shirted or hazmat dude behind the tape? Hmm. 
Maybe we'll just leave it here though before I continue. The night hasn't ended yet, but it looks like we might go behind the tape and it'll just keep extending, so let's leave it here. But uh, so far, it's a little slow-paced, little... But we know it's it's a Chilla's game, and it's gonna be horror-based, so we just have to give it a little bit more time, and maybe just say, look forward to the next episode, where shit will probably get real. Uh, because I doubt that it's not a horror game, but uh, I don't know, I hope you enjoyed, look forward to the next episode, or the ending. Oh, if you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, until the next time. Um.